Most people think that you need to be a senior level developer with 10 years of coding experience to roll out your own software as a service application. And this belief has bled into a lot of junior level developers, including myself, when it comes to us wanting to build applications. But what if I told you that you can build out your own LMS platform, your own starter kit, your own voice to text application without much experience? So here is how this works. And I wanna get your idea on this, okay? People say, this is the common saying, you need experience to build XYZ, to build out whatever application you want. You probably heard this term, right? You need to build experience. But what is experience? The sophisticated answer to that question is practical contact with the thing you are doing. Basically, you have done the thing you are trying to do in the past. So if it's coding, you've done coding in the past, you've gained experience from coding because you did it in the past, right? That got very confusing. But there's a weird, funny, I'm gonna call this the experience paradox, and this is why. Because think about it, to build experience, whatever we wanna call it, you need some sort of experience, right? If you need experience in coding, you need practical contact with coding. So you need experience with coding to gain experience with coding. It's this weird loop. And I know right now you're probably saying, Nazar, you've talked about experience, we know what experience is how did you build software as a service applications and how are you building these with no practical experience i come from a law background i didn't even go to law school i graduated with a bachelor's degree it's a shitty degree and the secret right the secret to how i'm building applications is let me just go down here it is okay very simple and very sophisticated as well it's to build shit and improve at it and you know what i'm gonna keep it pg today keep build stuff and then provide it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stop. There you go. Let's say you build out your first application. Okay. It will freaking suck. But if your goal is to build a software as a service app, a business, something to make you money, right? Obviously your first thing is going to be bad, but as you build experience, as you improve at code, as you're doing more and more projects, naturally, na naturally, naturally, you will get better just based off the laws of improvement, you could say. And you will find yourself at a certain point, maybe it's your eighth project, fifth project, 20th project, I don't know what it will be, but you will notice a significant improvement from this, which was probably a really shitty to do app that had one feature, but because you built experience and you built stuff, right? Because you built stuff and you improved at it, the project over here will look so much better and so much more polished, you could say, compared to this one, because you went through the process process of learning and, and applying and improving in each different project. And what you did really is you kind of cheated the system where you built experience without experience, but you built it by doing stuff which made you have experience. That's why it's a paradox, okay? I don't know why it's a little bit confusing, but you built stuff, you improved at it. And so this is what I did, okay? This was one of my first really early projects where I built out just a front end uh, crypto app with the API calling the price of the coins. And all I did was I built out this very shitty application and moved on to the next one and tried to improve it. You can think of it as me just doing this a bunch of times. So I went, let's say from this one where it's like a little shitty and it's just a front end. And then I found a way to improve it and made it functional. And then I built out a LMS platform and I polished that over a couple of months and I tried to improve in the different parts. And then I moved on to a starter kit and you're going through the process of, of getting better at each project and building experience. That's really all I did is it's nothing special. And I know you're probably looking at me and other developers and people that build software, like, I don't know, Mark Lou, and you're in your mind, you're thinking, these guys are so much better than me, but everyone had to go through that same process. They had to, you know, learn code, build shitty apps, non shitty apps, build okay apps, build really good apps, you know? And I'm not even saying this is a good application. It probably has a lot of bugs. There's some things I'm trying to solve. And I know this is a lot easier said than done because building stuff is already hard enough. And you know, the process is a little bit more difficult, but this is basically all I did to build stuff and how I'm building apps with no experience. And I promise you, as you build out more experience, like we talked about from building other things you will find it so much easier to build the apps that you want and have the practical knowledge to do the stuff that you really want to do but yeah if you want to build some cool stuff on my learning platform there's some free courses there like we have like a front end analytics dashboard and i'm going to make it full stack really soon i promise there's a stripe payment one where like you can build out a fully functional uh, stripe payment system in your uh, reactor next.js app and also if you want to join a discord server i'll leave that down below and if you like this video check out the video on the screen you'll probably like it as well okay happy coding and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye